Would you like to be able to make a hovercraft uh, at your desk with some stuff that you've already got? Well, I hope so, because that's what's coming up uh, in the next bit of this video. Hi, I've got an awesome experiment for you uh, this week. It's how to make a hovercraft with some stuff that you've already got. All you're going to need is a balloon, some blue tack, uh, a CD or DVD, or the, and the top of a water bottle. These ones with a little foldy lid on top are perfect for making hovercrafts with. So grab those things and let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your uh, blue tack, roll it into a little uh, kind of sausage shape, and then push it round on your CD or DVD or whatever you're using. So kind of like that. So you're gonna have something along those lines like that. The next thing is you're gonna grab your little water bottle top, push it down on top of your CD. The idea is you're not gonna have any gap, so your blue tech's gonna form a perfect little seal of your water bottle top onto your CD. So the base of your hovercraft will look something like this. You've got your bottle top uh, sealed with some blue tack to the base and that's going to form the base of your hovercraft. To power your hovercraft, you're going to use a balloon, blow it right up. Put a couple of twists in it to make it easier to connect it. You're going to connect your hovercraft, your balloon, to the base of your hovercraft. Uh, untwist it oh, that way and you're going to let go and take your hovercraft hopefully uh, for a little bit of a journey and your hovercraft will go flying across your desk. Uh, I would say don't do this experiment if you're in a rush it is highly addictive and likely to take up most of your day messing around with it The final thing you might be wondering is uh, what's going on. So your thrust for your hovercraft is all coming from the air inside this balloon. The balloon's blown up nice and big. The air's coming out of the bottom of the balloon and pushing down. It's spreading around under the surface of your hovercraft, making it like a cushion of air. So the hovercraft actually floats on the air, doesn't really touch the table hardly at all. Very little friction, which is why it will glide around all over your desk and provide you with a fair bit of fun, hopefully. And finally, you might be thinking, uh, what can I do next? What more experiments can I do? Uh, you can try adding some weight to your hovercraft, see if you can drive it by putting some blue tack or something heavy on one side. Can you build a bigger hovercraft, not just a CD, maybe connect it onto like a Frisbee or connect a few of these together, whatever you've got to hand, try and build something cool. Uh, what different types of balloon works best, like rocket balloons, big balloons, I'm not sure. Give it a try and let me know how you get on in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you inside my next video. And we're going to take the hovercraft uh, on a little journey. <laughs> That's the perfect outtake.